Should we talk about rejected takeoffs? Because that's how the American Airlines event first started. That's where it all started to go wrong. So what is a rejected takeoff? Yeah, so a rejected takeoff is where you're lined up on the runway, your intention is to get airborne, you begin the takeoff roll. So as a passenger, you'll hear the engine spool up, you'll begin accelerating, as, as I'm sure you all know. And then for a reason, the crew will decide that it's safer to reject the takeoff, to bring the aircraft to a stop, as opposed to continuing in the air. But there's a couple of things that we need to bear in mind. A rejected takeoff, it's not just like stopping in a car. The aircraft, when it's doing a takeoff, is the heaviest it will be that day. And there's a huge amount of energy that needs to be dissipated when we when we reject a takeoff. And it's not just a simple, oh, let's just stop. There's threats involved with rejecting a takeoff of a heavy aircraft at high speed. So below 80 knots, in the case of Boeing 737, we stop for basically anything, right? Yeah. We stop for anything that sounds wrong, any warning that pops up, um, anything that makes us feel the, the least bit uncomfortable. Mm. You know, there are, there are certain things that you can you can bring with you, but generally speaking, below 80 knots, the aircraft is not moving fast enough. Once we get in, once we get past that and we accelerate past that 80 knots, or some airlines I know use 100 knots, once we accelerate past that, we only want to reject now if it really is the safest thing to do. And contrary to a lot of belief here, it's often much safer to take the problem into the air, depending on what the problem is, deal with it in the air, than it is to reject the takeoff for something minor when you're in that high-speed regime. But the typical things that we would reject for in that high-speed regime are very serious things, such as an engine fire, not just an engine fire, any form of fire on board the aircraft, uh, an engine failure, of course, because we won't have the performance to accelerate from that point and get airborne potentially, any kind of uh, weather-related like wind shear. So if you've got a wind shear warning active, we do not want to get airborne into that because that can push you back down into the ground or cause bigger problems. Or if we deem that the aircraft is unable or very unsafe to fly. Yeah, and that's the tricky one. It is. That's, that's the grey. That's area. the tricky one. That's that's the that's that's the part that gets captains the higher salary. Yeah. <laughs>